In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your engine coolant sensor on your Ford Taurus. It's located on the top of your engine. Using an 8mm socket or wrench, you're going to disconnect your negative battery terminal. Loosen it and then put it off to the side. Make sure it's not touching any metal. Okay, so we're going to take our cap off our reservoir and we're going to go underneath and drain the radiator. Using a 5.5 millimeter socket, I'm going to take out these seven bolts. All right. As you can see, I had to spray some rust penetrant. If your car is rusty, you can do that too. And the last one over here. Okay, using a 5.5 millimeter socket, you're gonna take out this bolt on this side and there's one on the other as well. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna take out this bolt and the one on the other fast side. And then there's a 10 millimeter for the middle. Might have to use some vice grips on that. All right, so this one's a 10 millimeter socket. So now we can take this down. Using a 19 millimeter wrench, you're gonna unscrew your radiator plug and you're gonna drain your coolant. Now that you have drained your radiator, you can close down the plug for the 19 millimeter wrench. We are going to press in the wire connector. Take that off. Using a 19 millimeter socket, you're going to remove our coolant temperature sensor. And you're going to crack that loose. You can take it out. You're going to thread your coolant temperature sensor in. I'm going to torque this to 12 foot pounds. I'm going to connect your connector. All right, so we are going to put our splash shield up and stick it underneath the bumper. I'm gonna try to line up all the different fastener holes with the bumper holes. All right, you wanna get your middle screw started first to hold up the rest. All right, and now you're just gonna work your way around, getting these bolts in the clips.
So you might have to stretch your bumper over to reach this one. Just because it's all plastic we're dealing with. this one in. These are easier when you get them hand started because they kind of hold their place. All right, so now you're gonna put these in. Again, try to get them started by hand first. Makes it easier. On to our next one. All right, we had to replace our hardware due to some issues getting it off. So you can, by all means, use your old hardware if it still works. There's one here, one here, and then there's one here. take a negative battery terminal and put it on, push it down, and use an eight millimeter socket. And tighten it wrist tight, make sure it's not moving, and you're good to go. All right, we've set up our funnel, ready to receive some coolant. I'm gonna fill it up till max, and then we're gonna start the car and let the system bleed itself. You're gonna use the recommended coolant by the manufacturer. So keep filling the coolant until it no longer goes down and then you get it to about halfway up your funnel. Then you're gonna start the vehicle and let it run for a while, put the heat on. You gotta wait for the thermostat to open. When the engine gets hot enough, that's when that happens. The system will bleed and then what's ever left in your funnel will go into the engine, into the radiator, and then you just top it off after it's hot. After you're done and your coolant is at the right level, it should say filled hot or filled cold. If your vehicle's hot, obviously fill it up to hot. And you're going to put your cap on. And you can take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.